Hello and welcome back. This is episode 15 of our Let's Play Sun and Skies. <clears throat> so I've um, managed to travel to the circus, pick up four of the woods, the bronze woods, to deliver to here. So I've done that. I need one more, but I'll do that later. Um, I've also come to the Nowhere Inn. Um, actually, we'll go back to Port Avon Dock. Um, we're not going to recruit the devil because we actually have enough um, officers at this point. He's another signaler and I've already got one. So what I need is a quartermaster and a mascot. We'll work on that. Um, so when we go to Port Avon, um, I've shared some exotic gossip with the locals to get some welcome. Um, we'll go and speak to the reclusive carpenter to repair the thing for the magician. The carpenter squints at the letter and gives a quiet harump. Another one? Fine. Looks like I'll need the hairs of a cloister bee. Just use a razor. Not your own, though. Oh, so I need to kill a bee. I've also picked up a passenger, um, the short-sighted cryptojuralist, um, zoologist, who I need to take to Lustrum, but we'll work on that um, at some point. Um, I think that's all I can do. I don't have enough, I don't have tea, so I can't host a tea party at my... Locomotive at the Village Green. Um, Vista allotments. Okay. Let's do that. I've got a good chance of success. Oh, success. An intriguing specimen. The contents of the allotment are unlike familiar vegetables, but it helps to look for similarities. The bobber squash is too lumpen, too spotty, too purple to be a marrow, but it is more like marrow than it is a cucumber. A little fr the little fruits clumped on the serpentine vines are certainly not cherries. Cherries are not hairy, but they are closer to cherries than they are to, say, a kiwi fruit or otters. <laughs> I quite like this. I really do like the writing in this game. It's, it's, it's absolutely lovely. Call it a marrow then. Call them cherries. It helps somehow. The gardener, mistaking you for cognitive reshuffle for hunger, offers you a handful of freshly dug, tapered, tugger stripped roots. Let's call them carrots. You're wearing out your welcome. That's not good. Um, let's go. I'm not going to do anything else to wear out more of the welcome. Go back to the inn. Uh, read a work of speculative fiction or in seed. We'll head upstairs, the hunting party. I forgot about them. Um, we've done this before, so I'll just get the um, stuff. The ruins. 32% chance. 83% chance of success. Enjoy the picturesque surroundings. Success. The house of giants. How vast were the beings that resided here? Were they kings? Was this their palace? You sit in the monumental shadow of a stone and watch the stars wheel above. What must they think, those stars, to see such grand ruins be become the abode of such tiny, brief things? I don't know. But all of a sudden, I was thinking of the tiger from by William Blake. Um, it's one of my most favorite poems in the world, and there's a line that says, when the stars threw down their spears and watered the heaven with their tears, did he smile his work to see? Did who make the lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night, what immortal hands or eye could there fearful there frame thy fearful symmetry? I mean, it's it's my all time favorite poem. Like I am in love with that poem. I have issues. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay with having some issues. But we, I, I kind of want to deal with this mushroom person, mushroomy meta. Who does this creature belong to, bellows a man, fuchsia with rage. The blangin points he points at is a grizzled member of its species, most of whom are left behind underneath. The fuchsia gentleman roars in fury. Between the bellows, the truth emerges. The Blemings is no one's pet, and far worse, no one will admit responsible for its tab. The Bleming, Blemigan? Blemigan, yeah, is unconcerned with the tumult. It nods its cap at you with grim respect and flops its tendril into a mug of stout. It stares bleakly through the window. Oh, well, we'll settle the bar tab. We have money. Oh, it gives us a mascot. Kindred spe 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 uh, species. Spirits. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Kira. 
As the future gentleman inflates for a particularly long diatribe about ill-mannered captains and their disorderly pets, the blamer claims on top of the bar to consider your face. It likes what it sees. With a sound that, like a sh that sounds like a shoe being pulled from a swamp, the blamer finishes its drink. It clambers up in your arm until it reaches your shoulder from where it directs you to the door. It's his experience in surviving the cold of the heavens and will heat those too cowardly to traverse them. It respects you. It will serve you well. Oh, I lost 50 sovereigns, but I gained a mascot. This grizzled blemming has seen all of the world can offer. It has been a warrior, a poet, a king, but it finds no pleasure now in war, no words, no rain. It gives us one mirror and two iron, so why not? We'll take him. Um, oh, we're not welcome here anymore. I guess we wore out our welcome. We can get more. I mean, it's not that hard. We can just... You have one out, I welcome. I thought I could get more by sharing gossip. Uh, but I don't really care. Um, we'll leave. I think I've picked up everything I needed to pick up from here. I've bought extra ammunitions from here, so we need... Oh my, nine more! Dear Lord! What are you doing, waging a fucking... Oh, you are waging a war. Never mind! We'll go back to the circus now and have a chat about their um, fixing up the crate or whatever it was that we fixed up for the guy. I'm going to go through this way and see what's over this way. I haven't discovered that. It's hopefully nothing too terrible. But if something does interesting happens, you'll see. If not, we'll just keep going. Alright, so I've leveled up. Uh, there's more choices now. That's quite awesome. Okay, so I would like to get some more might and mirrors again. Get those things up. Promise of days. Her Majesty offered the earliest pioneers to enter the heavens a grant of 30 years if they could build houses and necessities for those who would follow. You are one of the first through the doors of the skies and accepted the offer. How did you spend the Queen's hours? Um, in toil. You helped lay foundation of London. You dug its sewers, laid its streets, thirty short years to forge an empire for nothing from nothing. Okay, cool. Again a sky story. I need those, so lovely. Lit the hold. Thirty two sovereigns. Alright. Oh, let's go over that way to the circus. Okay, so let's go behind the tent straight away, and we can speak to the... Oh no, because we haven't been able to repair it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. We haven't actually been able to repair it because we need to go and hunt some fucking cloister bees. I forgot about that. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Um, but I did pick up the last um, wood I needed, so I might as go in a route to go and drop it off and then go up to um, Titania and this sort of area to go and hunt some bees. Ah! I will see you when all of those things go well. And I said when, not if, because I plan to do well. I have a new fucking big ass gun and it's doing well, so hopefully I'll be able to kick some serious ass. Okay, I don't know what those like tendril things are, but it looks dangerous. Can I shoot at it? I don't know. I'm just gonna move on. Sounds weird too. I don't like it. Sounds creepy. But this area is nice. What is it? It is something to crave. Okay. So I'm going to go back to... Oh, Traitor's Wood. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to um, Port Avon and drop off the last of the wood. Um, and then, you know... And then I'll go to Titania. Okay, so we've um, come back to the inn, and because we've um, sold some of the, the stuff that they wanted, I've gotten more welcome again. So I'm going to read this work of speculative fiction. In the nook by the fireplace, the shelf of magazines each contain a story by the local author, the turbulent fabulist. The fabulist work has been accepted in a number of publications, including Murgatroyd's Miscellany, Hearth and Heaven, and The Seasoned. His prodigy. Uh, he is prodigious. Which story catches your eye? 
Mm. Eyes of Heaven is a being a thriller tale, thrilling tale of discovery and danger in disguise. Here to unknown. Here to foe unknown. Being a macabre tale of one's soul's descent in solitude and madness, satirical tale of infernal ambition and mortal folly. Uh, being a tale of political inevitability. Being a sinister tale of a familial duty and intimate horror. Darkly comic tale of domestic misbehavior and unusual appetites. That sounds like of some kind of, um, you know, soft porn, so no thank you. I'm going to go with Eyes of Heaven. My terror has been reduced and I gained one Sky Story, which I need. I really need a lot of Sky Story to be able to... What? Why? Why? Why is my whole... Oh, fuck. I'll get rid of one um, fuel. I guess... I've got more supplies somehow. Oh, I got supplies when I gave the, um, when I handed in what they wanted. Fine. Let's go and kill some freaking bees. We need to kill, like, at least two, I think. Maybe three. We'll see. Going the wrong way. New settlements. We can give them ammunition for bronze wood, but that does not help me. I need the ammunition. But my terror has been reduced. Ooh, fish tissue. <gasps> oh, wow. My new gun is awesome. The fish normally takes two rounds of um, shooting. But, hey, one. Done. We've got our trophy for the hunting club. Awesome. I think so. I need to kill one for the, um... Actually, no. I've already killed one for the... Oh, I'm so confused. But I, I think I need to kill at least, like, three bees. Let's go with three rounds of bees. Let's see if I can kill three bees. Investigate. Read the ledger. Always read the ledger, because it gives you sky stories. And I can leave. No, I don't have a saying. I don't even know how to get that thing. Okay. I'm gonna come along here. Scoop! Oh, I need butchery for it. So it's like something I can collect. But those things, like, take up a slot for my guns. And I'd rather be offensive rather than, you know. We haven't been to Titania for a while. Let's go to Titania. Oh. Here's the beast. Here's the damn beast. Yeah. Oh, there's more bees. Alright, there you go. Two sets of bees done. Shave the bee to do to re thingy. Fortunately you didn't have to draw you didn't draw the short stick. Nevertheless, you're still the one that has to shave the damned thing. The hair is a stiff Sharp chitin. The razor doesn't cut through easily, but it does so mercifully cleanly once you get the hang of it. The hairs pile like needles around you and are swept up for delivery back to the carpenter in Port Avon. Lovely. Um, get the trophy for the hunting club. So we've got two trophies now for the hunting club. I'm just going to just continuously um, just do the experience thing rather than going for the um, honey because I don't need honey right now. Having the new gun is awesome. I feel like way more confident to be able to like kill things and it does do a lot more damage than my other gun. So I might have to upgrade my other gun to that as well. Um, see how that goes. Docking um, Titania. I think we've we've definitely been to Titania before. So unless something new happens, I'll just um, do my thing. I don't want to donate any of my things. How many moments of inspiration have I got? I've got two. 
I'll donate a moment of inspiration because the sky stories and um, visions of heaven, I actually need those to be able to meet my ambition, like my, what my character wants to achieve. And I know moments of inspiration is a little bit rarer, but you get them from like killing ships, I think. So I'll do that. 300 sovereigns is good though, so I'll donate it. Oh, go to an art exhibition. Titania's largest petal hums with activity. The melancholy poet, restoric mayor, and stone-faced sculptor have brought their best students together to showcase their work. They stand at respectable distances, glaring at each other. Lovely. Attend the exhibition. Rickety wooden stage showcases the students' latest work. You spend several pleasant hours surrounded by art, much of it painted with pigments sourced from the rich's unique flora and inspired by the lingering threats of cloister bees. Once the visions have moved, visitors have moved away, however, they immediately launch into lengthy diatrics on many ways that they could have done better. Bloody artist, right? We still can't do um, the new thingy because we don't know. We haven't been to the other areas. What's in the bazaar? Crockery. No, thank you. And we don't need any of that. I'll take a fuel though. I'll actually take I'll take one fuel. All right. So um, I can go back to Port Avon now and deliver what I need to for the hunting things and the um the hares. This is going swellingly well. Which worries me a bit because it's going a little bit too well. But um, we do need to do something about the um, <laughs> the current situation of us losing with the Windward Company because we've helped out the Tekkadis too much. I didn't realize that delivering the um, prospects would actually have that much of an impact. But either way, off we go to Port Avon. And then probably um, to Port Prospera, I would say, so that we can um, go and deal with the um, the company and hand in all of our port reports. Oh, the homestead is empty again. They keep doing that, but we found some crates. Uh, but no one wants China. So I'm just going to jettison the... F I'll just keep one of the China. I'll jettison one of the Chinas. There is a lot more homesteads now that the Tekkeris are in charge. And which leads me to think that maybe that was a good thing to have Tekkeris in charge. But like, I've decided that we're going to go with London. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm not going to change my mind halfway through. Even though I've only like not even done 20% of the game. It's this game's huge. I'm not complaining. Oh, let's kill some fish again. Boom! So quick. So easy. I love it. I feel so, like, OP. Get your sovereigns. Or... Uncanny specimens. I've got a lot of uncanny specimens. Let's get sovereigns. Partial success. I've got two terra, 21 sovereigns and two terra. It's alright, my terra level's low. Um, more precious stones, I think. Because just because my mirror is still not high enough and I don't want to lose any crew. Oh, I failed. <gasps> I've lost a crew. I did get seven, seven sovereigns and lost a crew. Okay, maybe I should have gone for the other option anyway then. But it was 79% chance success versus like 60. So I would, you know, usually go for the higher percentage. But, I mean, I'm not a statistician, so I don't know. But, you know, I thought that was the right way to go. Never mind. Let us go to Port Avon again. I like the fact that the, the areas are starting to feel familiar. Um... And what I like even more is that this world, like this map, and this like current world, is mine. It's like no one else is going to have a world that's exactly like laid out the way it is here. So this is this mm, going the wrong way. So this feels like it. It feels quite unique, and the experiences will be quite similar. Um, 
I do quite like the fact that it's mine. Right. Here we go. Port Avon. Alright, the devil is still waiting for recruitment. He can wait all he likes. We'll give him the materials. Um, the reclusive carpenter bids you to deliver the materials outside his workshop and return in two days. After time has passed just outside your locomotive, you find the magician's equipment box ready for transport. The carpenter is nowhere to be seen. We need to return to the circus with those. Then we need to go to the inn and go to the upstairs and hand in the trophy. 100 sovereigns, 50 experience points. One more. And we need to do the Scriv um, Spinster. That's my biggest concern because they have moved very quickly and they're very hard to kill. But eventually, maybe, we'll be able to kill it. Um, we should recruit. We've got 83% chance. Let's recruit. They don't even ask for an advance. They sneak on from their home that night with bag of personal effects and meet you aboard your engine. You put them to work. All right, lovely. Let's go. Hang on. Was there something I should have bought? No, they're undistinguished thingies. We need to go to the circus. Alright, so here we are at the circus. Mm. New arrivals at the circus. We've been through this before. We've reduced our terror though, so that's a good thing. Um, let's go behind the tent, hand over the... Deliver the magician's repaired equipment. The magician inspects his equipment as thoroughly as a gunnery officer that would their cannon before a long-awaited engagement. When he is satisfied that the panels do shut properly and suddenly he breathes a sigh of relief. It's been some time since I've been able to do something worth a damn. I remember back at those days, the people of my performance would attract. His glance catches a glance... He, uh, his glance catches an old poster on himself. He requests that you leave him alone to practice. We've gained some gossip, 500 experience, and 100 sovereigns. Visit the ringmaster's caravan. Do we get to pick up another quest? Oh, yes, we can. Acrobat's twin. They take turns, I think, running away. They won't come back until they get into trouble, but the car said that the trouble has happened. You'll find them in the Leadbitter and Stain Road Nature Reserve. Alright, we can do that. Well, speak to the acrobat. Yep, it's, that's fine. Shop. Okay, what we need to do is, I think we need to actually go back to Hybris to be able to pick up the um, thing we need to take to um, Thingamajiggy, so I might actually just do that. I think I can make it there with um, my supplies and stuff, so let's go and do that. I don't know how to get it. I'm hoping that going back there will let me get the cage catch. Um, but let's see. I'm not sure. But either way, hopefully we'll make it to Hybris. And if we don't, then you'll see an, a spectacular explosion. Because there's lots of enemies down this way from memory. And um, I think this is where the Scriver thingies are. And I'm still not very good at dealing with them, I don't think. Even with my new gun, I don't think I'll have a chance. So, let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. <gasps> I've killed a Scrivener! La! I've gotten my trophy, I can enter the hunting club! 
That's so fucking awesome. I haven't been able to do that before. I haven't been able to kill one of these before, I don't think. So I guess... Let's go to um, Hybris and see if we can get our caged catch thing. Alright, let's have a look at the rack. My hull is actually really good. 37% chance of success. When you have 8 crew and I need the crew so I'm not going to risk the crew. Let's just repair my hull for 1 point, whatever. Uh, where is... Oh, there's another Scrivener. Damn it. Oh, finally. Ooh. They're raw from Bronzewood? No, we'll just get some experience. I'm, I don't want to risk any more crew, as I said. I need eight to be able to crew this ship. And I've only got eight left because I've killed two by accident. Well, no, I tried to get loot from a ship and I... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh... There we go. You bloody better have hull for me, thank you. Alright, let's go actually go into hybrids now. I am actually quite enjoying the combat now, I'll be honest. Um, it's just, I think, I felt a lot more fragile before. and it, like Combat was something I had to avoid because I didn't know what I was doing and I was also very, very scared about exploding. But I've kind of learned that A, um, dying is not the end of everything. It does make making these episodes a lot harder because it means I have to spend a lot of time repeating things but you know. Um, have a bit of shore leave. Let's get some mushrooms. Success this time. I've gotten one supply. Lovely. Um, Hybris is deserted. Write a port report. Um, I guess I can't get the sample here. I can still buy literature. That's not helpful at all. I was ho I was really hoping I could get the fungus thing here. Um, what can I do then? I have to go to last room then. I'll just go to last room. But either way, like, I'll get to last room and then I'll probably end the episode there. It's actually really becoming hard to judge how long the episode is going to be because I, I'm going to be having to cut out so much of the travel stuff. Um, because I don't want to just ramble on and, like, talk about stuff whilst you're just watching me float about in space because that isn't the most interesting part of that this game as far as I believe. I do find the combat interesting. The navigation thing obviously has its own challenges for those that are navigationally challenged like myself. Um, but you know. Anyway, I'll meet you when we get to Lustrum. Oh, okay, so I've just literally clicked on it. So I've arrived in Carillon. Um, and I've done the um, what I need to do for the um, the prospects and sold them the souls hours whichever one was it was I sold something um, I still need to bring one more back but we've um, also I forgot about the propaganda thing so it says investigate rumors of win uh, windward propaganda rumors in New Winchester suggest windward company is sneaking propagandist into Chiron to convert Pennant to the company cause. It does not take long to locate suspicious penitential activity. A devil is delivering a sermon on, luxurious, on luxury to a group of penitents. The sermon is specifically on the virtues of luxury, the, cultiv the cultivation of taste, the adornment of one's person with finery and splendor, the cultivated palate indicating a superiority of character. Several of the penitents look bored, the presiding devilist looks on indulgently. I would like 
to um I would like to actually help the company. So I'm going to go and grab some ministry approved literature and come back. Thank you very much. But besides that, we need to get to um, Lustrum. That's where I was on the way to. When I decided to stop off and make some monies. Because monies is important. So I actually have a, quite a good set of money now. But I do want to get to 3,500 before I buy a new ship. Because that one has... Um, it's pretty much this, but better, instead of like the other ones that have changed like settings and stuff. Like one has like a bigger cargo hold, but I lose like some access to guns and stuff. And I'm like, mm, no, mm -mm. y'all know like that. Yeah, let's never do that sort of accent again. 69% um, of chance of success to get some stuff. Let's do it. Success! Your driver pulls a locomotive. We've done this bit before. Solid crate, and I get a barrel of unseasoned hours, which is the last I needed to deliver to um, Carillon. So let's do that now. This is working out quite well. Alright, I've lost five fortunes with um, Tekkadis, which I don't mind. I have gained five fortunes with um, stovepipe and 150 experience. Oh, the Caroline connection. The Wimmer Company has been unable to break the Tekkadis hold on hours mining. To keep the refineries busy, they have recruited representatives to purchase hours from unaligned captains at implausible prices. A pensive um, devil at Caroline will pay 150 sovereigns at each. Up to five barrels of unseasoned hours. The pensive devil asks us many questions about your journey, your engine, your crew, your cargo, your parts before he's satisfied in terms of your payment. I'm sure our stovepipe friend will be pleased. Well, oh, I've leveled up. Wow, these keep opening up heaps. Lovely. So now I want to get. I want. I think I should keep on working on might and um, veil mirrors because that's what's actually helping the most in terms of like the challenge things so let's go for one that has the August avenues steam and suit you spent much of your time at the engine yards watching locomotives being built, repaired, and decommissioned. There were iron behemoths, their bone steel, their breath steam, and their innards intricate as a pocket watch. How do you spend your time among them? Eavesdrop? No. Learning how engines worked. You appropriated a workbench and tools and set to work dismantling obscure machinery and putting it back together again. Why not? Uh, we need to get our soul stained at some point because we oh, need to stop damaging my locomotive just bumping into things. But we do need to get our soul stained so we can go into the last garden as well. And I don't know how to get my soul stained. Do I like dip it in tea? Do I Should I go on a night of debauchery and uh, indulge in bohemian activities? I do not know. The game has not told me. But somehow we became stained before, so I suppose we could manage it somehow. Just don't know when or how I did it. But either way, last room, here we come. Oh, yes, the Windward Company finally. Oh, we turned away the door. Oh, no, this is the, the one that we can't go to. This is the one we have to go to, the one in um, Port Prosper. I keep forgetting that. What did I have to do here? Uh, sell the munitions. Um, how about we buy the munitions and then sell the munitions again and make 15 um, sovereigns credit? No, we can't. They, they, oh, they want two sets of munitions. My bad. So confused. What was I supposed to do here? I completely can't remember. I was coming here for a reason, though. Right? I came here for a reason. 
Can't remember. Uh, we'll recruit some crew. I need a crew member. Um, is it the tea company? Let's do a cup of tea. Take the Empress's favor. Lose some terror. Return to town. Oh, wait, we weren't supposed to come to Lustrum, we were supposed to go to Port Prosper. Anyway, on that note of brilliant navigation and uh, totally remembering what I'm doing in this game, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you'll come back for more, but most of all, as always, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah!